Roger, Roger Fu. Uh, I'm a professor of medicine in the uh, Yonglulin School of Medicine here in NUS. Uh, I'm also a cardiologist in the Heart Centre in NUH uh, and uh, I think the key thing that defines me is I'm a clinician scientist working in this uh, medical campus to share what we've done with this creation of the genetic connectome of the heart. All the genes play different roles in different parts of our human body. Being a cardiologist, of course, my biggest interest is to figure out uh, which of these genes are playing the most important role. So one of the big things that we've been chasing down and now successfully done is to say which those key genes are. And all of this is now properly mapped out to know which are all these important sections of the human genome that is important for our heart function. <laughs> thing that we do in science, it really brings a lot of different nationalities together. So in fact, our lab, nearly half of them are foreigners. Wilson's a computational biologist, so these are people that spend a lot of time going through data. Hi, I'm Wilson. Uh, I used to be Roger's PhD student. We met at the LEAF while I was doing my internship at Genome Institute of Singapore. He approached me and asked whether I'm doing computational biology, which is to analyse data and I realised that, yeah, that's what I wanted to do and that's where we started our partnership by working together. I've always been interested in science and discovery since young and after I met Prof Fu, uh, this allows me to fulfil my lifelong um, passion in science and research. Matt is an import from UK. So he's a really interesting character. Some people say that he looks like a lifeguard, right? My name's Matt. I am an assist, a research assistant professor. I think um, of all the people you'll meet today, I've known Roger for the longest. I always admired him. He seemed to know a lot about everything. <laughs> My relationship with Roger um, has always, I think, been uh, he's a friend first and uh, a mentor second. And I think that's a very lucky position to be in. Um, that's really one of the main reasons I came to Singapore was because when you want to start your first postdoc job, uh, you need to find someone who you know you're going to work with well. Come, let me show you my children. Uh, my children are grown up. I do recall in days when they were younger, when they had concerts, I would make good attempt to go. I have missed some of these in the past and been made to feel very guilty, so I did make a lot of attempt to be a very present father. And then because he's in this choir, right, which is supposed to be quite uh, established and famous and traditional, he's met a lot of uh, important people like uh, Vladimir Putin when he visits. And if you're going to ask the question about my wife, um, she's a very supportive uh, wife and mother. <laughs> Being mentally supporting, you know, emotional as a support to him, um, that was what I thought was quite nice um, and also a great thing for him. Um, I don't see very much of him during the day uh, and sometimes in, in, even in the evenings, um, but you know, when the day ends off with him coming back for dinner, and, and that's quite nice. I would like to say that we are still a very close-knit family, thankfully. Um, nice to see you, right? How, how is everything there where you are? Yeah, no, no, no. we're just going to be in our own house and then going to the beach to, to hang out. <laughs> you have to not. <laughs> One of also the biggest um, joys uh, coming home to work in Singapore is being able to work with young people. NUS Med School is surrounded with you know very vibrant uh, young doctors, young scientists. I, I think that's been an amazing um, opportunity to kind of you know be a mentor uh, with young people. But the truth is that I feel very lucky because uh, the work that I do, I really do enjoy it. Uh, so for example, you know, reading some research papers, talking to fellow colleagues about the research and so on, I feel it's like a hobby. Just like the drugs that we use in our clinic today, uh, I think back to the individuals who found those molecules that ended up being the drugs that we use in our clinic. I think it's so inspiring, this possibility. Yeah. So, Young people who want to really make that difference, I feel, yeah, definitely should go for being a clinician scientist.